such a good time but today it's a little bit muggy and a little bit <laughs> too warm to turn the oven back on I had the oven on for four and a half hours yesterday making a brisket so I want like a quick healthy delicious yet protein packed breakfast so this morning we're going to make banana crepes gluten-free banana crepes Gluten-free crepes are so easy because they're basically just eggs. In this case, anyway. So I'm putting two eggs in a blender. And adding one very overripe banana. You can also put some vanilla or some sugar in this if you want, but for me, this banana is plenty. Let's do three eggs. Both bananas? Why not? Now, I don't want it to be too sweet. I have accidentally made them too sweet before, but that was with the addition of some vanilla extract. Once it's completely smooth, stop your blending and put it in a pourable container. Um, this is, it has a little spout, it's pourable, but I'm going to go for something a little smaller. I've got three pans preheating on the stove back here, and we're going to start flipping some crepes. It's time to fry these babies up. i got three warm pans, and I'm greasing them with a little bit of coconut oil. And they're on a pretty high heat, actually. I started them on medium. Once they got hot, turned them down to low. But the pans are pretty warm. So. I wanna do a small pour in the middle, and then I'm going to spread them around. Like this. And you want to be patient with these and their cooking because they'll get the bubbles really fast and it'll look like they're done, but they'll still be really soft and they'll break apart if you try and move them. So you really want to let it dry out just a little bit because it's moist. It's just eggs and banana. And now we just let them cook. I know that the, the lighting at this angle is really bad and everything is just white, so when this first batch is ready, I'll show you what the color looks like and then I will time lapse the rest of the cooking. This one already has a bunch of bubbles and the edges are starting to brown, but I know it's not ready to be flipped yet. Oops, 
see? Breaking it. Don't even touch it. Don't even touch it. I'm thinking that we're going to do a little smear of peanut butter on each crepe and roll them up and maybe a little dollop of peanut butter on top and a sprinkle of granola for a little crunch. It'll be a really good breakfast snack. Protein, low sugar, gluten free. Hell yeah! All the steam coming off them is good. We still, we still have to be patient. We want them to be kind of brown on the bottom. Oh, it looks good. It's getting there. Just turning that burner back up. This one's going a little slow. Oh, I can be so impatient sometimes when it comes to cooking, but you get much better results if you can be patient. There we go. Ooh, hot. Oh, it's yummy. Just the right amount of sweetness. This one's not ready yet. This one isn't either. They're so pale. They're so pale. So I went to about this dark on this guy, but you can go even darker if you want. Oops. All right, I'm gonna move right along here and time lapse. filled and garnished here. I did put a little bit of chocolate underneath the peanut butter while they were still warm so it would get melty inside and then there's peanut butter on top and just a sprinkle of red berry granola. So it's time to taste. I'm gonna take this little one on the end. I'm gonna eat it like a cigar. Mmm. Yum. And this is a plate I could eat all by myself. And that's three eggs, at least like five tablespoons of peanut butter, bananas. It's a power protein packed breakfast. Great for a hangover or any morning. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>